I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. This week, the United Nations has voted to remove cannabis from its classification as a dangerous drug. Wednesday's vote, though, does not clear UN member nations to legalize marijuana under the international drug control systems. And for what it's worth, Canada and Uruguay have legalized the sale and use of cannabis for recreational purposes, but many countries around the world have really just decriminalized marijuana possession. Organogram reported fourth quarter net revenue of $20.4 million. That's versus $16.3 million in 2019. The company attributed it to higher flower sales on higher volumes due to the large format value segment. Oxley reported total net revenue of $13.4 million for the third quarter ending in September. That is an 85% increase from the previous quarter. The net losses, though, were $17.7 million. Four Front Ventures announced third quarter revenue of $12.4 million and net losses of $3.9 million. They did give initial guidance for 2021 of pro forma revenue in the range of $170 to $180 million. Columbia Care has officially completed the acquisition of Project Cannabis. That's an LA-based dispensary and cannabis delivery service. The total transaction includes roughly $52 million in Columbia Care stock, as well as an additional $16.5 million expected to come from selling some of Project Cannabis's real estate assets. Namaste Technologies is continuing its efforts to win back investors. The company announced it completed its acquisition of Camart Labs, which has applied for a processing license for extraction. They've also set up a whistleblower system within the company. Hydro Farm Holdings said it is launching an IPO to raise $118 million, but the over allotment option could bring that up to $136 million. The shares are expected to price between $14 and $16, and they've applied to list those shares on the NASDAQ using the symbol HYFM. And finally, Acryl SPAC Partners One said it plans to raise $100 million for a SPAC that will primarily focus on the alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverage and wellness sectors, as well as hemp-based branded consumer goods. They also plan to list on the NASDAQ using the symbol ACKIU. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Marker Report.